a video resume. I know, right? Nobody does that. I have no idea if anybody is even going to take this seriously, or if I'm going to be that kid on YouTube that everybody laughs at. But I'm super open-minded, because how cool would it be if this worked? First thing on a resume, somebody's name. Mine's Bryn Brakey. This is how you spell it. And then after that usually comes their contact information. And there's mine. You can go ahead and write it down. I've got a lot of work experience of different kinds. Um, five years of it has been food service, and one year has been retail, and one year has been as a self-employed artist. And some of those overlapped each other, so it's about seven years in total of customer service on top of a lot of volunteer work. Let's talk about food service. Um, after five years of food service experience, I think that I've scooped 10,000 ice cream cones and I've probably waited over 7,000 tables and I think I've made just under a million lattes. And all of those numbers are pretty ridiculous. Um, actually, it's ridiculous that I even did the math and the averages to figure that out. What this really boils down to is I think I'm pretty good at dealing with people. I've had to serve people and serve alongside people from lots of different kinds of backgrounds. It's taught me a lot about myself, and I know that sounds super cheesy. Can I get an espresso? What's an espresso? What does that say in your name tag? Like, how do you pronounce that? There are not enough sprinkles on this ice cream cone. Look, I know it's not your job, but, uh... Can you tell me directions to uh, this place I'm trying to get to? It's my son's birthday and he's gonna need a candle on that. Actually, do y'all sing? Can you do some kind of birthday song for him? Actually, I'm not ready to order yet. I'm just gonna like, stand here for a minute and like, think about it while I hold up the whole line. You know, back in my day, we couldn't have nose piercings. People thought you were from the devil. Okay, I get it. I'm not good at voices. I'll stop. But seriously, I've dealt with so many people, and that's just in food service. I do have references, but I'm not going to put them on this video because I'm planning on hosting it on YouTube, and I don't want crazies calling my old bosses. But I will attach it in a more traditional resume form um, when I send you this video. Besides being artistic, I'm also punctual and professional, probably more so than this video is going to make it seem. I am pretty tech savvy. It's 2011 and I grew up in this era and so I know all of the normal computer things that I need to know to be my age and to succeed at being my age. I'm a creative problem solver. I think I already said that. I'm also really good at Scrabble. Totally irrelevant, but um, if you're a Scrabble champ, I will maybe beat you. I'm a really fast learner. Um, you're probably not going to have to tell me things more than twice at the very most. One thing that I actually specialize in is faking it till I make it. That's my mom's phrase for pretending like you know how to do something and figuring it out while you're doing it. But I'm also really good at asking for help when I need it because there are some things that would be downright dangerous if I said I knew how to do and I didn't, like CPR, which I actually, I actually do know how to do. So here's what it all really comes down to. This is the please hire me part. I would really like a job where I can be creative and help people at the same time. And if it involved food, that's okay, but I probably would do a lot better in an environment where I was just focusing on being creative the whole time. And if you need me to take out my nose ring, I can do that. Or cover up my tattoos, or wear a stupid visor, or go back to school, or, you know, whatever it is that you need from me, I can probably make it happen. I know how to do a lot of things, and I'm super open-minded to learning how to do more things. So if I sent this video to you and you're the manager of a coffee shop, I do still want to work with you. Like, really, really, really. I just think that the best place for me might be somewhere where I could be really creative all the time. And I don't really know what my dream job would be, but I know that it's out there. And I really hope that the person who is going to be my future boss, maybe for the rest of my life, is going to see this silly YouTube video and say, that's our girl, that's who we've been looking for, she's going to be great at this. Do you play well with others, and so I will make a good addition to your team. But at the same time, I'm okay taking the initiative and being a leader if I've got to. I know that sounds 
cheesy again, but this is like a resume and it's gonna be cheesy, sorry. Actually, now that I think about this, this is more like an interview than a resume. So I'm really killing a bunch of birds with half a stone because this is gonna take me like an hour to put together and it's saving me like 10 steps. This is awesome. Am I older than 18? Yes. Do I have means of transportation? Yes. Am I legal to work in the US? Also yes. Am I a felon or a convict? No. No, really, I'm not, I promise. So once again, my name is Bryn Brakey. That's me. And here's my website. Just in case you didn't write it down before. It was really nice to meet you and I hope to hear from you soon.